believe in Jesus Christ, the cornerstone. Hello, dear friends. Welcome once again to the beautiful Friday when we continue to share our life together in the cosmos on the way forward to eternity. On today's food for the journey, I would like us to discuss full of life preservation. And this has to do with sacrifice and not the price we pay for whatever we enjoy. So I want this to, uh, to be seen in the light of the technological advancement that we enjoy today. And it will permit me to read out the resume of my today's reflection, which goes this way. In life, nothing is easy. Every achievement goes with commensurate sweat. So what we think, what we think is easy has been paid for. I want us to understand this. Either by hours or days, months or the years of laboring for the short route or the shortcut. Even grace, popularly called or merited favor, uh, has its own price. As we can see, Jesus Christ is life, is suffering and death upon the cross at Calvary, merited us what we enjoy today as grace, which of course is our righteousness. Though scientific and the technological advancement seem to make life easy, it comes with its own side effect. So all we need to know is that we need to know what we want and be ready to pay the price. And then we also make our choices. When we make our choices, we, we do that wisely because what we need to go for now in this world is what is the most important. So I bring you down to our use of cell phones. Almost everybody today enjoys the use of cell phones. And because of this, I would like to share the, re the results of the research made by Dr. George Carlo in 1998. This doctor was employed to make this research so that he can see how the, 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 by the, that, it, that, that the phone industry, so see how they can downplay the fear people have concerning um, the use of phone in relationship with cancer. So, so that when the research comes out, you will find a way of telling people that this is not dangerous. But to their own amazement, and then we can see the author by honesty of this doctor when he came out with a result that was simply opposite of what they were expecting and they had to publish that and so i read out the findings of this doctor that a nearly 300 percent increase in the incident of genetic damage when human blood cells were exposed to radiation in the cellular frequency band a significant increase in cell phone users in cell phone users risk of brain tumors at the brain's after age on whichever side the phone was heard most often a 60 percent greater chance of acoustic neuromas a tumor affecting the nerve that controls hearing among people who had used cell phone for six years or more a higher rate of brain cancer deaths among handheld mobile phone users than among car phone users. Car phones are mounted on the dashboard rather than head nest to your head. So with these kind of findings that Dr. Kahlo at least got from his research is enough for for the people, for those of us who make use of cell phones to, to be cautious, to know how best to use this. When we get the, when we see the advert of, of the, the phone industries, we cannot see anything of, of, of such. And the, the, they are not as open like those who make, who produce cigarettes. When they say that tobacco smoke, smokers are liable to die young. So which means now, if you want to go and buy tobacco, look at the side effect of it, that you are liable to, to die young. 
the phone users may not tell you this. That is why on our own side we have to be cautious about it and then it's good to that because when I came across this this findings it was a kind of a mind blowing for me and I said I have to share this. So the first thing I want us to understand is that to make sure that we don't allow our children to make use of cell phone. Well, because we, we may think that we want them to enjoy what other children enjoy because we want them to we want people to know that we have all it takes to provide to provide for our children and then we give them cell phone. Their skull is tiny is too tiny to withstand the radiation that comes from cell phones. So to protect their brains, to protect our children, we need to keep cell phone away from them. That aside. And those of us too who make use of it to our adults, you have to be very, very careful on this too. And then uh, one of the things we can do is to make sure that we reduce our use of cell phone. Once in a while, we can put off our phones when we are when, when we don't use them. And then also we we can take two more of landline, maybe a two more at work when possible. And again too will reduce or eliminate our use of wireless devices because we want to make life so so easy that anything wireless we just jump into picking them up and then we use that one to brag to show people that now I'm, i can uh, I'm, I'm ahead of you technologically so we have to try our best to avoid this and then when reception is not good we have to be very careful that we don't we don't receive calls when reception is not good. The weaker the reception, the more power your phone must be must use to transmit, and the more power it uses, the more radiation it emits. So if we get used to that, if you know that when you are reception is not good, better don't even make call or receive call. That aside, and again too, if our phone must be must be on. It, we must not allow it to touch our body, like at least like six inches away from us. Keep it away, so that we don't uh, and we don't attract to ourselves. We don't endanger ourselves, our skins, our body, our brain. So, pull this together. Cell phone is just one of many technological advancement that can affect us adversely. So if what I'm talking about today is the dust pool of life preservation, it's just left for us to see what we can pick from this. In the time of Jesus Christ, we all know, he made use of technology to him sometime, but then it's not a time that we are enjoying today. Jesus Christ will go to the riverside, he will go to the mountain, because he knows that the breeze from the mountain and the wind from the sea will help him to, to, trans, to transmit what he was preaching the gospel to, 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 to take the gospel far among the crowd that he was preaching to. So the same kind of technology too was now what was tech, uh, advancement in technology how to bring down to the use of radio and television and so what we enjoy today that make life so easy. So instead of going to the riverside, instead of going to the mountain, you can just be in your room you begin to talk and then you transmit whatever you want to transmit that people all over the world through the mass media will be watching you and be listening to you. Life becomes so easy. So that is part of the Father. The Lord said that I keep you in a garden village, then you make a garden city. So we were in that garden city too, but we must be very, very careful the way we handle things in that garden city. So today, as we continue to preserve our life for greater things to come, I pray that God will give us the wisdom to know what is most important so that as we enjoy the sacredness of life and, and how precious our life is, God will preserve our life for greater things. These are many intentions I pray, to, I pray for through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, dear friends, kindly join me at 11.15 a.m. on the radio 91.5 FM. That is on Thursday, 24th of this month of March. That is next Thursday. I will be having a discussion on the importance of Novena in the Catholic Church. Meet you there. God bless you.